So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the jQuery project and the work that we've been doing to sort of uh, solidify uh, everything around uh, jQuery, um, the library, and but jQuery, the larger community as well. Um, the jQuery project has existed in some form for you know quite a few years now. It's just you know it's just the team of us who care a lot about jQuery and we want to make sure that it does well. Um, but that organization has been just very loose. We haven't uh, uh, had any formal structure. Uh, we started to formalize that structure this past year um, when we were uh, looking to apply to the Software Freedom Conservancy. And in doing so, we started to formalize a lot of things such as uh, finances and voting um, and really start to take a better picture of uh, the status of the full project. Um, to do this, we've also launched a, a new uh, jQuery.org website. Uh, this website has information about the larger project uh, and all the sub-projects that, uh, that we work on and um, information about the team and, and things of that nature. So the, the jQuery team, um, we've been able to uh, meet, uh, the entire team has been able to meet a couple times now, but um, all of us got to meet uh, just this last fall uh, in, uh, in Boston. Uh, at the jQuery conference, and uh, so it's it's been really great um, uh, being able to uh, meet in person. Uh, the uh, the team uh, the the larger uh, 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 team that works on uh, jQuery um, is split into a number of categories. It isn't all strictly developers. Uh, we do have the core dev team that uh, primarily focuses on uh, the jQuery JavaScript file. Uh, but there's also um, the web and infrastructure team that works on making sure that uh, all the websites run smoothly and that whenever we want to release a new website or you know, a subdomain, that all of that is taken care of. Uh, we also have the developer relations team, which works to manage uh, the jQuery community, uh, produce uh, documentation, write tutorials, do podcasts, uh, and, then, and then also triage uh, really important issues. Uh, we recently formed the events team uh, to do things like uh, manage conferences and get uh, sponsorships. And then finally, there's the jQuery UI team, which focuses on the, the, the jQuery UI project. Um, so as I mentioned before, the, a lot of what we've been pushing towards is um, when, in this formalization is joining uh, the Software Freedom Conservancy. Uh, this is a nonprofit run by the Software Freedom Law Center and um, it, it, it exists to take in uh, open source projects uh, like us um, that are looking for um, a, a sort of a, a place to exist uh, in, in which uh, that, that'll, that'll hold our finances um, and, and we can now start to take uh, tax deductible donations, for example. Um, additionally, they provide free uh, legal advice uh, to those that are within the conservancy. And, um, and in general, this has been uh, just a great, a great opportunity for us. Um, one thing that we're eventually moving towards is being able to assign ownership of uh, portions of the jQuery code base uh, to the Conservancy. Because in doing so, um, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll be nice to just uh, be able to get it out of my name or, uh, or Paul Bukowski's name or, or anyone else who's a, a, you know, a major contributor. Uh, having it being held by um, an independent nonprofit uh, third party is sort of this the, the ideal situation for the library. Um, one thing that we've been doing is uh, we formalized uh, the voting. Uh, so anytime that we want to uh, spend money or uh, add or remove members from the team, um, uh, th things of that nature, uh, we hold a public vote uh, with all the current uh, team members. And you can uh, see all the current votes uh, up on the web. Um, I definitely recommend checking out and just seeing what we're up to and, and uh, uh, keeping a close eye on us. Um, so one of the things that we've been uh, doing is, is keeping all our uh, finances in order. And uh, I, I should mention that all of jQuery's uh, income uh, uh, comes, uh, all the money that we use to run the project, uh, comes from donations. 
and we use this money uh, to get server resources um, and, and a number of other things. Um, thankfully, though, um, much of our constant costs have rapidly decreased. Um, since uh, Media Temple uh, recently came along and has offered to start, uh, ho or has, has been hosting uh, much of our server resources, uh, our month-to-month -month costs have been very, very minimal. Uh, when Media Temple came to us just this past year, uh, they have they offered to provide us with uh, machines and uh, bandwidth and even uh, a complete CDN uh, for hosting. So it's just it's been really excellent and uh, it's been a, just a huge burden off our backs. Um, so we've been spending uh, what we've been spending money on and what we are, are looking to spend money on uh, as a project is. Um, having more conferences, um, being able to have more team meetings so that we, we can work face-to-face, uh, -face, and um, being able to spend, uh, being able to get things that aren't our core focus, meaning that like if we wanted to do um, uh, like a, I don't know, say a new plugin site, you know, we, we, we could use our finances to help fund that development of that. Or recently, like uh, for the jQuery 1.4, Release. We have the we have a jQuery 14com and we use our resources uh, to get a design for the site. Um, one thing that's been working out really well, uh, just recently since uh, the conference, the last conference in Boston, is we've been using this opportunity to meet, um, to use uh, smaller portions of the team meeting face to face and uh, working on very specific issues. So the infrastructure team met uh, a couple months ago in Denver, and we worked and we planned out all the server resources and how we wanted them to be allo uh, allocated, and how we wanted to, um, you know, what uh, what technologies we wanted to use, and exactly who was responsible for what. Uh, so I mean, uh, that was a couple of days, and we got a lot of work done, and it was really quite excellent. Just recently, the documentation team. Uh, met in Boston, and we sat down and we worked on jQuery, uh, the jQuery 1.4 documentation, and we ported all of uh, the the documentation from the jQuery one, the jQuery the learning jQuery reference guide uh, over to uh, the new API site. And uh, right now we're meeting in uh, Washington D.C. Uh, to for the launch of jQuery 1.4, and we're producing we're here producing all the video content uh, that you'll be see you'll see going up over the next couple of weeks. Um, so all of this has been just really excellent. It's um, we found this honestly to be one of the most effective uh, ways in which we can uh, sp spend the donations that we get. Uh, we're able to all come together as a team, work very productively for a couple of days. And it's just it's, it's it works out quite uh, quite in our favor. Uh, one thing that we're looking to do this uh, next year is have more conferences, and in doing so, um, we're we're looking to have conferences in uh, London, San Francisco, and Boston. And we are in the process right now of planning them, and we're going to be uh, announcing final dates for them soon. So um, I'd like to absolutely um, encourage everyone to. Um, uh, become more active. I definitely uh, encourage you to uh, watch Carl's talk about uh, becoming a better participant in, um, in jQuery. And we definitely look uh, forward to this upcoming year. So thank you.